As a college student, I've been daily driving my Overland rig because I'm too poor to afford anything else for about a year, and it might just bankrupt me. I declare bankruptcy! Let's talk about that. First, if you're new to the channel, my name is Caleb Nall. I enjoy overlanding, wildlife, and things of that nature. So if that sounds interesting to you and you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Let's get into it. So first we're gonna start out with the advantages to daily driving your overland rig. You're equipped for all weather. So most likely if you're into overlanding, you probably live in Colorado, Utah, California, Idaho, and all those places get snow, um, except California for the most part, but there's not really any better vehicle to handle all conditions, whether it's rain, snow, heat, than an overland rig. I mean, you, we build them out to be specifically perfect off-road, to be reliable off-road. So it's gonna be perfect on-road and reliable on-road too. I'm based out in Idaho, so we get lots of snow. Winter's our longest months here, longest season. So it's really a big advantage to drive my Overland rig, the FJ Cruiser, year round because we have five, six months of snow sometimes throughout the year. And I never have to worry about getting stuck, or if I do, I can self-recover for the most part. So that's probably the biggest advantage to daily driving your overland rig. So the second main advantage to dri daily driving your overland rig, in my opinion, is if something's going to fail, if you're daily driving it, so whether it's an alternator, whether you blow a tire, whether it's something bigger, like you break an axle or something, if you're daily driving it and that's most of your miles that you're putting on it, you're pro it's probably gonna happen on the road. And it's a whole lot easier to fix an alternator, to fix like a ball bearing or a U-joint or whatever it is that fails on the road close to some shops where you can tow it or even push it if you're close enough, then to fix it out 50 miles on the off-road. You don't have the parts you need. You might not even have the tools you need. So uh, there's a big advantage to uh, daily driving. You can figure out problems as you daily drive it. That way it makes it more reliable, more safe. You even know what might break down more since you're daily driving it. Because if you only take it out when you need to go out off road, I mean, if you start hearing some weird things, then you're only on the trail and you better learn how to fix it and you better have a lot of spare parts if things are gonna go awry. So that's probably the second biggest advantage I can see to daily driving your off-road rig. So the third biggest reason that I like daily driving my off-road rig, and uh, it kind of goes in hand with the first two, is you're always prepared for something when it goes wrong. And not only for yourself, but for others. So if you see someone broken down, you, most, you should have a jack. That can jack them up if they don't have a jack in their car. You should have jumper cables. You should have spare parts. You should have tools. Like if you see someone else broken down or in the parking lot that can't get their car started. And uh, there's something really satisfying about being prepared to help others too. It's, you know, it's just a good feeling to be able to help others out, even if it's not on the trail. And uh, I mean, even if you would never talk to them any other way than just to help them out and get back on their way and save them some time and some stress and everything else like that. So that's, that's, one of my favorite things about having everything that I need to uh, to be self-sustaining for myself, but also to help others out when they need it. So the fourth and kind of final advantage and pro I want to talk about to daily driving is uh, you're never mad just to hop into it. I mean, this is something you put a lot of time and effort into. It's something that you put a lot of money into. Um, and so whenever I have to go to the store or anything, like I'm never mad to hop into my FJ Cruiser and to go take it for a spin or take it for an errand or whatever it is, because I love it. That's why I have it. I love the car. I love the way it drives. And uh, um, even though I'm going to talk about some things that are annoying to daily drive about it, in the end, it's still my car that I've built out the way I want it to. And uh, it's super fun and satisfying to drive something every single day that you love. So probably one of the biggest downsides to daily driving your overland rig other than miles per gallon, which obviously is never gonna be good for an overland rig, is uh, almost all your space inside your car is used up for recovery gear, for food stuff you probably have, kitchen utensils that you don't wanna take out every single time. That, that gets really annoying if you need to haul other people or even if you just have like a load of, of like trash that you need to haul in it real quick to go take to the dump or something. I mean, most of us don't have tons of other vehicles we can use and call upon. So this is usually our, that's why we're daily driving is because we don't have another vehicle. 
and uh, that can get really annoying for some situations um, depending on what your lifestyle is those might be few and far between but for me i i see a lot of times that my fj isn't totally useful in a lot of situations i need a vehicle to be in like almost like i need a truck for the property that i live on and out here in idaho so just depending on your lifestyle it gets annoying to have all the stuff for overlanding all the time and a rig that's built for it but not get the use out of it that you potentially could in another way so the second con or disadvantage to dri daily driving your overland rig is uh, kind of just three clumped into one so if you have mud terrain or all-terrain tires and you're driving those every single day those wear out pretty quickly out on the road so it's just something to think of is it's going to be a little bit more money and obviously everyone's running bigger tires so most likely you're running at least a 30 or 31 32 if you're going bigger you're going 35s 37s inch tires and so when you're wearing those out so quickly it obviously costs a lot more in the long run too road noise is usually a whole lot more so i have my fj completely gutted i have a drawer system in there and I never didn't put like sound deadening in there because I didn't want to add more weight than I had to with already bumpers and winches and rooftop tents and everything like that. That is something to consider. Road noise is very, very loud when comparing to my wife's Honda Civic that I drive sometimes. Just the tires and the road noise and then you're also adding more miles onto your overland rig, which is less miles that you can actually use to go overlanding and off-roading. And so everything just wears out more, so. It's just something to think about, it is a disadvantage. Now probably the third and final, and for some people the main biggest thing to con to daily driving your overland rig, is if something breaks down, uh, you're without a car. So if it breaks down off-road, you obviously gotta get it back, but it's not like you can just leave it out there and go to work if you need to commute to work with a car. You, you have no car. So that is probably one of the biggest things. Um, let's say even if you're able to limp it off the trail, get it back to your garage, you gotta fix it before Monday morning that you gotta go to work. It just gets annoying and it's definitely a big thing. It's probably one of the biggest things to consider when if you're gonna off-road or overland pretty heavily and you know there's a chance to break ball joints, even axles, whatever it is, and those could take longer to to do self in your garage, then uh, you gotta think about not having a car. So obviously the next question is, uh, should you go get another daily driver if you don't wanna over, if you don't wanna daily drive your overland rig? And uh, it obviously depends what your situation is, how much money you have. Um, I think that the easiest way to do it is to kind of just break it down. So the only things you have to consider if you're gonna do it is uh, you obviously have to purchase another car but then you have to register it, get a title, you have to worry about all that. And then I think the most reoccurring expenses is uh, insurance. You need to figure out how much insurance is gonna go up with that vehicle. And then uh, how much are you gonna save in gas? Because that's really the only reason cost-wise, uh, right off the bat, that it's gonna be less, unless you have a ton of maintenance on your overland rig, it's probably gonna be about the same amount of maintenance. And so you do have to, you have to ensure a little bit more maintenance cost for this daily driver you have. I did a few calculations that I'm gonna throw up here about let's say your overland rig gets 15 miles to the gallon. And then um, I have some national averages of how much people drive per week. And then let's say your new daily driver is 25 miles per gallon, which is still not amazing. You could probably get something with more like 30 to 35. So it's gonna even be more cost savings in gas. Um, with these numbers, but uh, you can obviously tune this to yourself. It's not hard math at all. So I really hope this video was informative to talk about the pros and cons of daily driving the Overland Rig. If I missed any, you can leave them down in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear what other people think that is worth driving your Overland Rig or not worth it. Um, and then maybe even for those who do daily drive another car so they don't have to drive over land their rig, talk about what you daily drive and why you daily drive that too. Um, again, if you did enjoy it and found it informative and want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. Um, it really helps me out and helps me to continue to get out there and enjoy nature 